Show episode number 441. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news. Most of them are all toys. So let's not dilly dally and let's hop right into it. So, first up, high end Celestia X ray figure coming from Mighty Jacks. Jack X. Yes. But anywho, um, yes. Mighty Jacks isn't stopping with just the main cast for their X ray figure line. Uh, they are apparently going all out on a super detailed large size 8.5 inch Celestia showing off all the bone, all the little bones that make up an alicorn. I thought that was Twilight. But anywho, uh, as more exclusive collectibles, uh, sorry, as a, as a more exclusive collectible, she is clocked at hundred and forty nine dollars so definitely a hefty chunk of change but pretty average for you anime figure style display piece that the toy world is all obsessed with lately so yes mm, expect others to pop up on 18 november at 9 a.m eastern so yay um this freaks me out but I have to say that this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> okay, what was this? Uh, I guess she has the power of the sun. Uh, yeah, mm, let's, let's close that for a bit. Mm -hmm. That's because that's freaking me out. So yeah, um, Mighty Jacks, they did a few toys before. Um, they're most well known in the pony community for their X-ray pony figures. Uh, they also did the um, crystal x-ray ponies they did the rainbow dash in her wonder Bolts uniform uh, figure and so on and this is something else uh, from what we can see they are really going all out in this figure uh, the figure is eight and a half inch which is pretty big and uh, I'm 100% sure. The, the mane is glittered. Uh, the figure, I'm not 100% sure. This could be a um, Funko vinyl type of material. Could be vinyl, I'm not sure. Uh, but overall, this is really interesting. And I do like what they did with this one. They really, did, they really go all out. Because, um, like I mentioned before, there is a sun inside celestia for god's sakes um other than that i got no idea this this one of those figures that i i i freaks me out it freaks me out but other than that uh, it looks good if you are buying it awesome um there's no links to it yet but i i, I have a feeling that you can buy it on the website or also any place uh, ebay amazon probably but let's hit on to the next news so next news, five Retro Funko My Little Pony figure now on Amazon. So yeah, um, last week we talked about this one and it seems that it's up on Amazon. Uh, let's go for this one. Let's just pop and see. Pop in and see, yes. Oh, uh, boys, that's not great. <clears throat> oh, so so this is it. So no, 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 thank you. No, 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 do not show this to me again. Yes. So anyway, um, this is their... Uh, Pop Retro Toys line uh, and this is the My Little Pony set um, if I'm not mistaken uh, I hope they no they didn't no uh, they, they don't have it okay. but anyway um, uh, this from last week before we seen this and this is their uh, Funko are doing their pop series retro style and this is how it looks like um, uh, it's not really the same as the uh, traditional My Little Pony figure, but if we go and take a look, see at Funko Pop My Little uh, Boy, hey, um, My Little Pony, <coughs> we get to see. Ah, cool. Uh, th this is how uh, they look before. This is the um, My Little Pony line of Friendship's Magic. So you have something that looks like this. And also, uh, this is the movie, and this is how they look, uh, which is interesting because instead of sitting, they switched it to 
uh, standing and also this is a sea pony line and uh, this is the okay that's sitting still but yeah um, they change the appearance as time goes on uh, the uh, what we call this um, the pop retro toys are uh, similar to this in my opinion where instead of a sitting pony you get a standing pony but one huge change they did is that uh, the head is not the quote unquote traditional Funko style. This is more akin to the uh, ponies. Instead of the almost squarish head, this is more of a equine style with the beady little eyes, which freak people out. So yeah, um, mileage may vary. If you're a fan and if you want to collect all of them, go ahead. Personally, for me, this is not my kind of thing and also they have a keychain version let's check let's just let's just see yeah so yep same thing with before yep keychain version so um let's move on to the last one and twister crossover collection retro pony appeared at gamestop um if you're following this there's nothing really new with it but hey um the My Little Pony crossover with Twister Retro Toys is here and her name is Right Hoof Red. <laughs> that is that is interesting. But anywho, um you can get it at GameStop apparently? Uh let's see, GameStop, alright. So oh no, access denied. It could it be because that I'm not in the right country? Uh give me a second. Let me see if I can do something about this. <clears throat> uh, so, okay, there we go. Can, oh no. Ah. That's odd. Hmm, oh, okay. Um, it seems that I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try this. I'm going to type in game stop and see if i can get it through here i can't that sucks maybe i have to do this one instead i'm sorry folks i, I just really want to get into this one because um not that i want to buy stuff from games i just want to do the news for you guys at home yes 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 yes, yes, yes. um oh um where 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 where, where? Uh, okay, this is this is getting annoying. This is getting really annoying for you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Click this and let's see what happens. Okay, I'm, I'm there. Mm -hmm. And I oh god dang it. Okay, I I, I seem to can't report the news on this one. Mm hmm. But anywho, um, yeah. Where is this? Get, get it back here. Right. So, like I mentioned before, if you are a big fan of this kind of collectible series, uh, you have one more to find. Uh, as far as I remember, oops, as far as I remember, we have the D&D, Transformers, Power Rangers, uh, Ghostbusters, um, Twisters, Light Bright. What else? I think there's more to it. I, I can't remember. But yeah, um, there is a lot there and if you are collecting it good on you this is one of those figures that will be pretty interesting this is in the style of g1 except for the main and tails uh those are vinyl sure yeah so anywho these are fun toys to have in your collection if you are collecting them uh personally for me i can't as you can see in my background I have a lot of stuff, I have little space, and I really need to find a way to keep all my chunks. Oh, boys. But anywho, let's move on to the next topic. Um, next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So, uh, as the week goes on, I haven't really done anything really interesting. Uh, with the recent, uh, um, <clears throat> with the recent, what you call this? Um, recovery movement control order that 
our country is facing or country is in, uh, it was just lifted yesterday or two days ago, I don't remember, but still, um, it was lifted. So now we are, quote unquote, able to move to, uh, how do I put this? We are able to move freely to a point. So yay, that's awesome. But other than that, um, all the cinemas are closed until the end of the year. Um, I think most entertainment centers like arcades are the same too. I think that's a caveat. Maybe not. But I do know that theaters are closed until the end of the year. That's confirmed. Uh, other than that, um, you have game store like the quote-unquote GameStop or EB Games or name your game store. I, I don't know. So anyway, those are open and yeah, I, I should probably play more games. Uh, right now, I haven't been had... <laughs> sorry. Right now, I haven't had the chance to play anything new. I haven't even had the chance to play with Ghost of Tsushima. A lot of editings that need to be done. Work never stops. Um, also, I played a few magics, but that's about it. Other than that, there's nothing new. Um, there's a lot of um, little things um, more akin to food, went out, eat and stuff. But that's about it. Um, other than that, um, not, nothing new. Nothing new. I, I'm trying to think because, uh, okay, I, I did play a new game. Um, it's Helltaker. Uh, Helltaker is a puzzle-based game that's free to play on Steam. It's really interesting. It's it's super simple. It's free to play, but there's a almost 25 ringgit, pro probably 10 bucks DLC for stuff. I'm not 100% sure what you get. Soundtrack probably? Who knows? Um, yes, but the game itself is really fun and entertaining. Uh, it's a puzzle game. Uh, it's really an easy puzzle game if you want to play it. Uh, also, yeah, I, I don't think you need a strong SPC to play it. It's really simple. Also, Among Us with friends, so that's cool. I, I really need to get on that project that I mentioned with the rest of the guys. Uh, playing it with them, recording and uploading. Because, hey, who, who, who wouldn't want to experience the game where you get to see I kill Silver or Silver kills me? Or even Terra kills us? So, that's one of those things where I need to really get on it and try. Maybe five, six people, who knows, right? So, um, that's one of the things I should really be trying to get on. But hey, um, other than that, haven't been doing much. Um, really need to expand and explore my horizons, yes. But anywho, um, let's wrap it up. How long is... Oh, wow, this is a short episode this week. Anyway. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmzogmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, to subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Terra, reviewing Pony Comics episodes, uh, special movies, and sometimes we like to expand our horizons. And we do animes, games, movies, and comics. So yeah, that's there too. So if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and a huge, well, exclusive deleted content. And a huge thank you for me. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> I forgot the script. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank um, Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya.